In this video, I'm going to help Joe out. He purchased one of the simplified stair building books with landings, and he's got a problem here that hopefully we can all learn from. Um, here's, what, here's what we're looking at, Joe. We have an 89-inch run. This would be a tread run from this distance here to here, which would be right here if we brought this line straight down this is the distance right here 89 inches this is our biggest problem and we have a 51 inch rise now here's what I did I left you with two options we have seven risers at 7.28 roughly seven and a quarter inches with 10 inch treads and that's actually what this is here to scale basically and that would give us one two three four five six six treads and seven risers one two three four five six seven um, and then let's just say that this distance here would give us another 10 inches but it might we might be able to get a little more out of it also um, because we can extend the top of the stringer to something like this which would be kind of give us uh, something like this if you just continue this line up here and drew it up here we could go probably another three to four inches add another three to four inches to this pushing the stairway this way um, so let's just say this is ten inches here um, this would give us seven one two three four five six seven ten inch steps basically or seven inch seven spaces at ten inches seven horizontal spaces equaling seventy inches that would be the distance from here, um, the, in, the uh, upper floor, to the first riser here. That would be a horizontal distance of 70 inches. Now here's the problem we're looking at, Joe. If we subtract 70 from 89, we're going to be short 19 inches, which is the problem right here. Um, now, what I did just to, with with this measurement here, you're you're in luck. It, lo it looks like you might have got the stair landing height close enough, because when I divide 15 risers into the overall height of the stairway, which is 108 inches, um, I I ended up with a 7.2 individual rise. So we're close right here. In order to make the stairway work. I recommend, if possible, extending the stair landing to this point here. And then you could just set your stringer on top of the landing. Now, if this isn't possible, you're like, hey, I built this. I want this stairway to look a certain way. Then you can always go with eight risers at 6.3 inches. And then instead of going with a 10-inch tread, go with an 11 inch tread so this would give us um, uh, now now don't get confused it's not going to be the same stringer we're going to add be adding an additional step to the stringer so instead of one two three four five six seven um, horizontal spaces equal spaces we would have eight and if you do the math here eight times 11 is going to be 88 inches which is basically going to solve your problem because you could probably pick up the difference from here add another inch or two to here and then do as the book shows you basically take the bottom of the stringer and notch it to where you have either a one or a two inch notch here and, and you would have something coming like this and of course it didn't draw it in there you 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 got the book you should be able to you should be familiar with what I'm talking about. And again, if you're not, let me know. So I think in order what you're looking at, you're probably going to end up with something like this, but I don't know how it's going to affect your lower stairway. Um, you know, so, so basically you have two options. You go with the seven risers at seven and a quarter, and the 10 inch treads and you move the stair landing you extend it out underneath the stairway to where the stair stringers will be structurally supported or you go with the 
8 risers at 6.3 and 11 inches. Now, whatever you do here, it's going to be better to do on the bottom also. So keep that in mind. Um, if, you, if you make these um, steps 11 inches wide, uh, would be, it would be good to make the bottom steps 11 inches wide also. Um, so I think that's it. That's about it. If you have any more questions, let me know. I think I can uh, make another video. This is a new gadget I got over the weekend, and I think it's going to make a big difference because um, this is a problem right here. Um, a lot of people run into when they're building stairs for the first time. They kind of get stuck in a spot where they end up working with something, fixed measurements, and uh, um, you got to do the best you can with it. And uh, I feel for you, Joe. If, uh, if this isn't going to work, um, I really don't know what else to do. So here's your two options. Uh, let me know what you think. I will send you a link in the email and um, hope this works for if anyone else has this problem. I hope this video will help them out too.